Yo everybody, welcome back to Investing Beginner. In today's video, I'm going to be going over my um, dividend increases on certain stocks in my portfolio. Just before I get into the video, if, um, if you're new to the channel, hi. I talk about personal finance, stocks, investing, and I've also recently started a new, chan a new um, playlist on my YouTube channel, which will be um, documenting my journey from no subscribers to a thousand how long it takes i'm determined to get there guys so i'll link that in the description below and uh yeah check it out just check it out guys it's i've only done one video on it so far but we're planning to do one every month on that so guys basically as as the quarter's earnings for a lot of companies has come in there's been uh, quite a few increases on a few of three of my stocks in the dividends so the first one that has increased the dividend payout is abvi Abvi, obviously, they've been performing really well for me the last month, up around 15%. So their dividend has now increased from 107 cent American cents, which is every quarter, to 118 cents, which is up a good 10%, which is really good, really, really good. The new yield is now 5.93%. Uh, the new yield, well, the new dividend will be coming to play on the 14th of February, which is when the next dividend will be paid. I'm actually due a dividend right now from Abvi for um, the last quarter just gone so that should be paid in today uh, well it should grow it also depending on future dividend growth and earnings growth as well as payout ratio Abvi's earnings in the last year has increased to nine percent over year year by year and also sales grew massively as well up three percent to 8.48 billion which is above the estimated 8.41 billion and also they've got two new um, new therapies out which is um, obviously has increased um, sales which is doing really well at the moment as well so I've had the guys with me I own six shares and I'm up I'm currently up 63 pounds there was a bit of a dip because there was something about a certain medicine which they only use I'm not too sure on it properly but yeah so obviously in the last year they're still down just point eight four percent but the last month you can see there, good growth. And um, luckily I managed to catch up at around 54, 55 pounds, sorry, which is really, really low. That's probably the lowest they've been, around 64 American dollars. But yeah, um, my strategy of it, they do pay a really good dividend. I, I do plan to invest more. Maybe not right now at the, at the price they're at, but I still do think they are quite undervalued if you look at the performance in the last year. And they have increased the dividend as well, which is a good sign. I think obviously the lowest they've been this year is $62 and now they've gone back up to 88 and overall they did spike around $118 in February 2018 but I do feel like they could get back up to that sort of levels again. So that's the first one that is Abvi. Next one that we have on the list of increased their dividend payout is Microsoft. So Microsoft, obviously everyone knows, massive tech giant. I myself um, do use a lot of Microsoft products like the Xbox and other stuff like that. But Microsoft's revenue is up from the last quarter 13.7% or 33 um, 33.16 billion, which is massive numbers, guys. After the strong earnings report on the 23rd of October, the intelligent cloud revenue, which is up 27%, has now made it the second largest cloud firm behind only Amazon, which is impressive again. So Amazon's earnings in the last quarter, quarter three of the year, is um, is 33.06 billion, but which has beat their estimated 32.23 billion. So obviously, guys, Amazon is a massive company. I'm going to continue to buy more shares in these. They've increased the dividend yield. Um, it's now 1.5%, I believe, and they did pay out uh, 40, 46 cents each quarter, and now it's been pushed up to 51 cents. So another good dividend growth stock there. You can see in this last month, they're up 8.6%. And if you look at the last year, up a massive 43.7%, which is really, really good, guys. I can only see Microsoft getting bigger. I can't see them going anywhere anytime in the near future. I just own the two shares at the moment, and uh, I'm up six pounds on them. And I think they've got an ex-dividend ex -dividend date due shortly, which is good. I think, it'll be, I think they'll be paid in December, I expect, but 
I'm not too sure guys. That's the second stock on my portfolio which has increased their dividend yield payout. And the third one on the list is Starbucks. Starbucks, they had a bit of a tough year at first as you can see on the graph. They was down to $63 round about this time last year, December last year. See, they've had a good gradual rise, 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 and they've did spike at around, uh, the graphs have been a bit dodgy there, but $96. And now they're currently at $82.02. But they've increased their dividend yield from $0.36 cents every month up to $0.41 cents every quarter, sorry, not every month. That'd be good if they paid it every month. but. Hey ho, but yeah, it's up 14%. We've got a new dividend yield now of just under 2%. So in the last year, they've up 40, up 43%, as you can, um, sorry, the earnings up uh, 43%, sorry. And uh, the quarter period revenue is um, 6.82 billion. So again, the spiced uh, pumpkin lattes in August, which I think it was released, they really, I think they've really done wonders for Starbucks. Yeah, as you can see, that's when the rise pretty much got to the height. But yeah, another company, guys, I've I recently purchased a share in Starbucks for £65. I will continue to have more shares in Starbucks because I think they're a really good company and I don't think another one, they won't be going anywhere shortly. So I own four shares at the moment with the average cost of £71.14. And I'm down £26 at the moment. But again, it's where the dollar cost averaging comes in. I'll be aiming to add more more cash into Starbucks and get more shares. So guys, let me know what you think of my um, dividend increases and let me know what you think of the stocks. If you think they're good buys, you think um, I should continue to, continue to buy more in them. Um, yeah, just get in the comments guys, as usual interacts. And also if you haven't yet, uh, subscribe to my channel please guys. I'd really appreciate that as I, you know, I'm on a mission to a thousand subscribers. And also like this video, yeah, just get in, the, get in the comments, guys. Tell me what you think. So that's it for today's video, guys. Enjoy the rest of your days. Bye.